Hey guys, it's Sanem, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm gonna to be doing a full face using Shop Miss A makeup products, and I have never tried their products before. I did a huge Shop Miss A haul, which is already up on my channel. You can go and check that out after or before this video. And I basically just did a massive shop, like probably 50 items, I don't even know. Um, and everything, if you guys aren't familiar with this, company or like the website everything from shop miss a is a dollar or pretty much like a dollar fifty um so like for example you know you have lipsticks that are a dollar blushes that are a dollar everything like dollar and dollar fifty so this whole full face is literally dollar makeup i can't wait for you guys to see this video my first impressions on these products um, I have a lot to say. You guys are gonna absolutely love this video. So grab a snack, grab a drink, get ready, get cozy. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So from Shop Miss A, I picked up this AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. Now this one looks absolutely gorgeous. And I am just so excited to test this out because I love anything dewy. So I hope, oh, comes out really easy. I hope this is, this is going to be like really nice. Feels really creamy, really, really creamy. And I can see already it's like super, almost like glass-like. It feels like a really rich moisturizer. It does have a really, really weird, like almost chemically smell, which I really don't like, but what can you expect for it being like a dollar? But oh my God, look at how like, glowy my skin is looking and illuminated it honestly actually looks really good <laughs> i will say it's very 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 glowy and i love that it's just more of a glow like glass skin rather than like it doesn't have a metallic sheen or finish there's no like shimmer it's just like a really just glowy almost a little too glowy like primer if you are someone who loves yeah there's like not much shimmer which i love but if you are someone who loves a glowy dewy primer like myself you guys will absolutely love this you can use definitely less maybe i used a little bit too much but it feels really nice and plump my skin looks honestly so plump and juicy like i just had a facial so i really like that for a dollar you absolutely cannot go wrong with that and i will definitely be buying more of this because it feels nice on the skin and it looks incredible so for foundation, I do have these two foundations from Shop Miss A. Well, I think, so the website is called Shop Miss A, but I think the brand is AOA Studio. So, but I'm just going to refer it to Shop Miss A. So there are these two buildable satin foundations, and then we have the Pro Wear foundation. So I am going to maybe opt for for the buildable satin foundation. So I'm gonna first try the shade porcelain. I do have two shades. One is a little darker, but now that I'm looking at it, it might be a bit too dark. So let's see porcelain, what that's like. So it has a dropper. I think this shade should be okay. Maybe let's do one side first. Oh. Oh. That's a nice shade and it goes a long way. It's very full coverage almost, like very me full medium coverage. I honestly thought it was going to be really sheer. Oh my god, it is just gliding onto the skin. I did not expect much out of this. I really thought it was just going to be a very sheer foundation, but it's really gliding on nicely. I'm thinking that it's pretty much like that primer doing most of the job as well. I love it. I honestly would not even build this up because I feel like it would be really full coverage if I do. What do we think? This is it without foundation. This is it with. Really nice shade and honestly, the coverage is there. It has pretty much covered and just made me look absolutely flawless. It looks so smooth on the skin, very seamless and Wow, that is really nice so far. I have heard amazing things about this foundation anyway, and I can definitely see why. The only thing is the dropper doesn't really work at all, so. But that's not really a biggie. Look at that. Insane coverage. Now that we have the foundation out of the way, I'm gonna be testing out this concealer. Now, this is the only one that they had. It's medium to full coverage. It's $1.55 and it's also in the shade, shade Fair Ivory, which I think is going to be too dark for me, but I believe it was the lightest one or 
no i think porcelain was the lightest but maybe they were out of stock of that so let's see fair ivory what this one's going to be like i'm just going to squeeze it underneath my eyes yeah it's going to be too dark but maybe i can still make it work wow wow actually it's not even that dark wow i cannot with the price of these products okay it is feeling a little strange underneath my eyes almost like it's stinging a little bit i feel like maybe slightly it just feels a little weird underneath the eyes i hope all this makeup is safe to use yeah it has a little bit of like this tingly that it's doing underneath my eyes so i'm gonna see if i react to it a bit more if it's gonna go away really 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 great coverage it definitely is more of a medium coverage but if you put a little bit more on you can definitely get it to a full coverage i absolutely love how creamy it is how it blended out how smooth it looks honestly this could be one of like the best very affordable concealers that i have tried in like a squeezy tube because a lot of these types of concealers tend to be very thick they don't blend they're very cakey and they like crease underneath the eyes and this honestly went on like a dream look at that i will say it is definitely feeling really strange underneath the eyes at the moment for me so i'm not sure how i feel about that so i'm just going to let it sit for a couple of minutes and i'll be right back and let you guys know if i'm going to take it off or not because i am a little bit worried it just feels a little um uncomfortable the concealer seems to be fine for now i've let it sit for a few minutes so i don't know i'm still a little bit like wary about it because it still feels just a little strange on the underneath the eyes but i'm gonna go in with the aoa studio perfect finishing pressed powder this is in the shade porcelain which is the lightest one might be a little too light but i am going to apply this underneath my eyes with a brush like this oh there's a lot of fallout but that's okay Again, very affordable makeup, so, you know, we can't ask too much. This might be a great under-eye brightening powder for me. Very smooth looking. Definitely has brightened my under eyes and just made it look super smooth. I love this. Look at that already instantly just for underneath the eyes but i am going to set the rest of my face it does have a ton of fallout if you can see that but for underneath the eyes this might be one of the nicest like smooth powders i have tried it looks very smooth it doesn't look drying i don't know what they are doing with these formulas but it is definitely working with my skin so nice so i am going to set the rest of my foundation with this it might be a little too light for me, but... Ooh, maybe not. So this powder is going to take away some of that shine, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love it. It is so smooth looking, like absolutely flawless, my skin. Look at that. Does not look cakey, does not look heavy. Next, I have the Perfect Bronzer um from aoa studio and this one is in the shade frappe which looks like a really nice shade and not only that as well but it is going to be the same formula with the powder so it's just going to be that smooth really silky like finish which i just this looks like the perfect shade and perfect formula so i hope this doesn't let me down this has less fallout oh okay again very smooth very pigmented actually it's actually not that bad look how smooth this is all just going on wow let me know have you guys tried anything from shop miss a before and if you have what do you love from them so next time i place an order i can order it because i definitely want to do another order this is beautiful this bronzer oh my gosh okay i'm actually really liking the shade now 
I thought at first it was going to be too orangey, but now looking at it, it just warms up my skin perfectly, especially because the foundation and powder was a little bit too light. So this just basically gave my skin a little bit of life, a little bit of colour. And honestly, beautiful formula. So soft, not patchy incredible this i am very excited for this is the lumi radiant blush in the shade frantic pink and this is like a marbled glowy blush look how pearly and pink that is this is really gonna be a very glowy blush i can already tell so i hope it's not just a shimmer i hope it's gonna like actually give color so let's see i'm just gonna take a little bit at first Oh my gosh, that glow, but also the color. It does give you a very, very subtle color payoff. I'm actually seeing more like highlight than blush. So I do really, really, really love it because it just adds glow, like further glow to my cheeks and it just looks so beautiful and radiant. However, I do wish there was a little more pigment from the blush because if I were to go back in with more of the blush, then it's gonna keep adding on even more highlight and it would look overly glowy on the cheeks. So that is the only downside, if that makes sense. Like I can't go back in with more because then this is gonna be even more glowy. Um, so maybe I could use like a regular blush, like a matte blush, and then maybe just dust this over as a topper, I think would be nice, but I do wish there was a bit more colour payoff, because if you were to build it, you're going to get too much highlighter out of it, but nonetheless, it is so beautiful on the skin, my skin is glowing to the gods, honestly, incredible, like I really am shocked <laughs> with the quality of all these products, because I really did not expect anything out of it being like a dollar. I have a highlighter. I do have two highlighters here which are liquids. This one is in the shade Golden Rose and this one is in Morning Glow. They look very similar but I think I'm going to go for the Golden Rose one because Morning Glow has a bit more gold in there whereas Golden Rose has a tad bit more pink which I feel like would go with the blush. Actually that blush is really pretty but I'm getting the same again of this like it feels like itchy, if that makes sense. Like my skin is is definitely reacting a little bit to these products. Um, I don't know if that's just going to settle down or if I'm going to have to take it off. But at the moment, right here, just right here, it feels itchy. And I don't know if it's the concealer or if it's just the blush I've put on. So I don't, I, I don't know. It's like, yeah, it's really getting itchy here. Has anyone else like reacted? To these products also these are incredibly tiny it's like the size of not even the size of my finger less than the size of my finger can you imagine it is tiny but let's go ahead and just put some on oh incredible already a very 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 sheer liquid highlighter it's not sticky it's not taking off the foundation or lifting it almost, honestly just feels like, uh, I don't even know, almost like nothing on the skin. It just is very reflective. But again, without like all this glitter, it just gives you a beautiful glow. I know it's so hard to tell because that blush really had a lot of highlight in it. But just know... I think this could be one of the best liquid highlighters I have ever tried because a lot of liquid highlighters I try are very thick or they aren't, um, like they lift the foundation. Whereas this one is just going on the skin beautifully with just adding a, a sheen. Look how subtle and beautiful that is. Again, usually it lifts off foundation on my nose, but it's not. So that's really great. So that is really, really, really nice. I definitely recommend that. That one has not, like, doesn't feel like it's reacting. So that's great. I do have two eyeshadow primers. So one is a glow base and one is a soft base. So the soft base is going to be like a nude colored eyeshadow primer, which looks like that on the back. And then the glow base is a shimmer 
eye base eye primer so it's actually going to have some shimmer in there so i'm going to give this a go because everyone knows what like a nude colored prime eye primer looks like but a shimmery eyeshadow base i feel like we don't usually see and would be just great to try something different so this is what it looks like and i'm just going to go ahead and see what this does oh oh i wonder if it's just going to give you a glow or if it's like a glitter all this time i haven't been using the mirror that i bought from them as well how adorable is this for i think this is like a dollar this is a great big huge size so i'm going to be using this okay so this definitely has a gold shimmer it is a gold glittery shimmery eyeshadow base so perfect if you're going to use gold eyeshadow or like champagne icy eyeshadows but it is a little patchy like it's it's a little hard to get even because the more you use it with a brush it just keeps like spreading unevenly so i'm just going to spread it out with my fingers instead okay this looks so much better with your fingers so this just provides you can you guys see that with the most beautiful like if i put the brightness down just glowy eyelids like i don't even know it looks so gorgeous you could literally just leave it like this and apply a little bit of like shadow in the crease or some mascara um and i assume it's going to dry down a little bit so that is really nice so next i have some eyeshadow palettes i do have these three and i don't know which one to go for so we have the orbit eyeshadow in mercury and then we also have it in satin and then we have this, which I probably will be using. And this is the Fairy Garden Eyeshadow Quad in Orchid, which is a beautiful, like, purple berry palette. So I am first going to be taking this shade right here. And these, again, say cruelty-free, non-toxic, and vegan. Non-toxic? I'm not sure about that. But <laughs> this is, wow, very pigmented. A beautiful, like, yeah, berry shade. I am just going to pack that on top of the primer. Are you kidding me? The amount of pigment this is giving off and like foiled goodness is crazy. Can you guys see that? It's almost like chunky. So incredibly shocked right now. I swear high-end brands can't even get formulas like this right. Now going into the satin palette, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. And then a little bit of this. Ooh, these mattes are really creamy. What is going on right now? Why are all these products just so good? Why? Why are they so good? I honestly don't even think there's been one product right now that I haven't loved. I think like if I really had to pick on something, I'd say maybe the concealer just had a little bit of a reaction for me. I am going to take this berry now, which isn't as like chunky as that because you can see it's dented, which I love. But I'm going to take this one, which is just a little deeper and just pack that right here and also bring it a little into the crease. So I'm going to take my baby little finger and just go back in a little bit with this just to further brighten because we did lose a little bit. Can you see? Like just to brighten it a little bit more. We did lose a little bit of that shadow because of the blending. I do only have this brown eyeliner and this is the Artista eyeliner pen in brown. This is very orange brown. It's not going to show on camera, but in person it is extremely orange brown. But honestly, on the eyes, it is so pretty. It's weird because on the eyes it doesn't look as orange. I know it doesn't go with the look, but imagine like if I just did a super matte brown look and then had this brown liner, it would be beautiful. Now, is it the most pigmented eyeliner? No, it definitely isn't. I don't know if the black one's going to be more pigmented, maybe because this is just a very light brown. It is not a dark brown liner. But again, 
like absolutely no complaints and i will say as well so far fingers crossed no reactions on my eyes which is like so important right everything's been fine this just looks so beautiful i really like that the brown liner i feel like it's very different it just actually it does go with the look because it just takes away from it being like so harsh with using black liner usually so that's very nice. I next I'm going to go into the skinny under lash mascara. This is actually meant to be mainly for the lower lashes, but I am going to try it for my top lashes as well. This is extremely skinny though. It is way more skinnier than any other mascara that I have ever tried. So this is absolutely perfect for the bottom lashes, but let's see how it's going to be on the top. Okay, this definitely can't really be a mascara because it doesn't really do much like as in for the top okay so it's perfect for the bottom lashes of course that's what it's advertised to be used for but it doesn't really like i mean i guess it coats them a little bit but i really wanted it to be a little more dramatic it's almost too subtle for me i can also see that this concealer is creasing now um, so yeah, the concealer has creased even with powder on top, so that's not good. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this. It just hasn't really done much for my bottom lashes. I think last but not least, I'm down to lips. There were a few other products that I couldn't try in today's video because there's just too many. Like, you know, the eyeshadow base. There is another primer I bought as well, the other foundation. There are these long-lasting shadow sticks I couldn't use because I used the base. So I might do like a part two or just try in another like testing makeup video. I have these lipsticks also. But I am going to be going into this lip product, the Velvet Lips Cream Lipstick. This is in the shade Riley. It says it is a matte finish, long wearing, moisturizing. It has a very makeup kind of smell. So let's go in. Ooh. Can you guys see how smooth it just goes on. It's not like a liquid lipstick, it's like a lip cream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and it honestly goes with the look. Not drying, feels like absolute silk and like velvet on the lips, and it's a beautiful rose pink color. It is stunning, it is so flattering, and it just, it has a little bit of a sheen, which I'm assuming is gonna dry down, but for the most part, it feels incredibly comfortable and just velvety. Very soft as well. I really, really, really like how that looks. And I am going to now give you guys my final thoughts. I honestly am so shocked at these products because I did not... I mean, look at my face. Like, look at my skin, the glow, my eyes, the lips. Like, everything came together all using a dollar makeup. That is insane. Just this part of my face, I am loving. Everything, absolutely everything shocked me. And I would always be, you guys know, 100% honest. If I don't like something, I'm gonna say it in my videos. And I just, I, I honestly can't even pick and say any bad thing about any of these products. I think the one that I really didn't like the most was probably the under lash mascara. I feel like it didn't really do much. It didn't have a lot of color. It just almost was like nothing. So I didn't like that. Um, also the eyeliner is really pretty, but I can see as well, it has a little bit of like patchiness because it's such a light brown. You have to keep going over it to really get it opaque. Um, but nonetheless, it's still a pretty color and it went on easy. Um, also, a few other little things like the Luminous Blush, which honestly is like one of my favorites now. But this and the concealer were the two things that I felt reacting on my skin. It isn't really reacting now. I still feel sometimes a little bit of like just like itchiness, just slightly, but it's very, very subtle. But I don't get that with other makeup products. So it, you know, it is these products. But honestly, I give almost everything a 10 out of 10. I say it, literally you cannot go wrong with it because of how affordable it is. Place an order, get some of these products. Um, if you need my recommendations on what I think is really, really, really worth it, 
I would say 100% the foundation. It is incredible. The illuminating primer as well. Um, at least one of the eyeshadow palettes, again, you can't go wrong with. The liquid glow highlighter, definitely get one. This lipstick is beautiful. They have other shades as well. And it just feels really, really nice. I do have lipstick on my teeth. Oh my God. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys did, if you loved the look. Again, let me know if you've ever shopped from them. If you have, what is your favorite products from them or what do you not like from them? Let me know. And what makeup products from Shop Miss A stood out to you in today's video? Let me know down below. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.